Hey, what's up? This is Sota from Mixer's Hive. Today we're going to check out the sidechain compression. Which kind? The pumping kind. Kick pumps the pad. <laughs> We're going to import the audio first, kick file, and the pad file. I simply created that with the Pro Tools stock plugin instruments, the boom and expand, but I provided the audio file as well. So if you want, download it from the link below in the description panel. The kick sample is only one bar long, so we're going to duplicate this three more times to make it four bar loop. Here's the pad track soloed. And the kick. Then both combined, no effect processing. Alright, then let's start with the compressor. Today I'm just going to use the Bomb Factory uh, 76, BF76, the stock plugin of Pro Tools. And I'm going to just compress this pad a lot. Alright, the, uh, the volume difference is pretty big. But that's alright because the compressed sound, so lower volume one, is our target ducking volume when the kick hits. Alright, let's get that going then. First step is to send the kick signal to a bus. So that's imaginary output, if you will. Then I'm going to set up so that the compressor is going to listen to that imaginary output. And you can do it right here on the key input of the compressor. You might, might not notice that ducking effect right here. So let me play it without the kick sound. I just need to make sure that this aux send is set to pre-fader. Otherwise, when I mute the kick, it's going to mute the aux send as well. Here's the pad with sidechain compression, no kick. Now let me put the kick back in. Alright, there we have it. The first sidechain compression technique, pumping. If you have any questions, or if I didn't make anything clear enough, please leave a comment below. I'm going to get back to you as soon as possible. Also, please do subscribe for updates and like the video. Oh, don't forget to share as well. Hope you guys had a great time, and I will see you next time. Bye.